I've never seen it. If people knew, yesterday we talked about suicide for four minutes and then rolled. <laughs> Today we talk about Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby for a few minutes and then roll. Um, that's going to be the super Patreon. Uh. $100 a month you can hear uh, talking about whether or not we'd watch Cosby if he walked into the room. <laughs> to do comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I think oh, that's no, I'm sorry. If Cosby <laughs> walked into this room right now, I would watch him. If I'm in a room with Actually, Bill Cosby, yeah, I'm, I'm watching, watching him. I'm watching <laughs> extra close. Yeah. Get the yeah, hell you can, out, you can Bill. This however you want. All right. Um, he, if, if I'm in a room with Bill Cosby, yeah. I have an eye on him. Absolutely. Sure. Just for... Yeah. I mean, I'm honestly probably the second safest person in there. Just I'm um, mm-hmm. tall and, and not a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on Bill Cosby. Let me say it here first. Uh, this is uh, Never Seen It with Hannibal Burris. I'm your host. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was crazy. Anyways, look at, we're going to break this down. Um, this has Never Seen It. I'm your host, Kyle Ayers. Today, having, I don't even remember the name of the movie. Mm-hmm. Is that crazy? Nyad. Nyad. Um, Nyad Fielding Edlow is back with us once again. Having never seen Nyad, <laughs> <laughs> I had to look this movie up. Um, and I barely remember what it's about, <laughs> having looked it up. Char, have you ever heard of this? No. Um, wow. Of all of our, you know, uh, she might win the the Oscar, so I'm being of service here. So this is like a new movie. <laughs> yeah. I looked it up, and this looks like a movie I would like. Okay. I think you would like it a lot. Um, this was 2023. I hope I'm not overstepping here. No. <laughs> By admo- coming out of the gate, admonishing and chastising my hosts and being uh, like, no, "What no, the no, fuck no. is wrong with you?" She might. She's probably going to win the Oscar. I, just FYI, I so blame. You're, well, you're welcome. W- who? Jodie Foster. One is she of, one of the one people? Of them, in someone in this movie? Yes. Annette, I, Annette Benning. I perm- I blame the distribution of movies now mm. because you. This is a Netflix movie. Or was yeah, this in I theaters? Or is this one of the Netflix ones they put in theaters for a minute so they can win awards? I think that's mm. right. Okay. Yeah. There's too much of that. Yeah, and I can't keep track, especially around award season, where a movie will be thrown in like a theater here for nine hours, yeah. And the if you don't see it, then it's then shoved back in your Netflix algorithm behind right. stuff you've watched fifteen times. Um, totally. I can't believe I haven't. I. But now you know what it's about loosely. I actually know. Who this is? The actual person. I don't know them as a person. She was a sports obviously. announcer. I swam. Diane I was Nyad, a huge, huge swimmer. Guy. I actually swam oh. in high school and was like, it's like uh, what I wanted to go to college be swimming. Oh, and I'm wow. like, I'm very into like Olympic swimming, competitive swimming. Um, wow. Shark, guess what? This movie has something to do with swimming. I, I vaguely remember now a, like a news story about a woman with this last name. <laughs> a who, random woman who swam, <laughs> swam from Havana. Right. You're like, just Today's this woman news woman. <laughs> on woman news today. It's, it's <laughs> Women's History Month and this like striking, strident, bulky uh, woman swam. She swam around Manhattan um, um, in like the 70s. She, she resurfaced after. Okay. Some a years. lot of people was, do when swimming. They win swimming? They resurface when oh, they oh. swim. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't. I didn't know that you were a champion she, swimmer. Oh, I was a state champion, actually. Really? Swim, I was very good at swimming. Oh, and this water is your polo, movie. So I love the aquatic oh, that's sports. Awesome. There's not a lot of good swimming movies, mostly because it's under the water. Mm-hmm. It's right. not exciting to watch. Right. Would you consider Avatar a swimming movie? Yes. I was, I was, bo- <laughs> I was bored. I haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, so it's a swimming movie. Yeah. yeah. If you were completely <laughs> bored watching the water. <laughs> My... Ten year old at the time was like, "What the fuck is going on with Let's Avatar?" Leave. Yeah, we're done. It was after two hours. Yeah. I was like, "Where's the fucking editor?" After the first few hours of yeah. Avatar, yeah. we thought we would <laughs> maybe not sit for the second she and was third. Like act. Starving, angry. Yeah, yeah. it, it was, is yeah. so long. So long. And then there's another. One. I think that's, that's all. The there's other more problem and more with and more movies, of them. Just like They're I don't, real. I can't embark on Oppenheimer because I'm just, I don't want to commit. If if Oppenheimer <laughs> is not going to give us a uh, intermission what will what will why not have these and sell me and i know we've talked about it and it's come up because they want to shove in more showings but if you just had one less showing people would buy food again halfway through oppenheimer let's say you're an hour and 40 minutes you're a movie into the movie yeah (laughs) yeah yeah i would leave and go get a refill or a popcorn Mm. or something and go to the restroom and feel a lot better the second half of the movie not to break in with a really pretentious anecdote, but in London, you can order things to your seat. Mm-hmm. So there's the intermission, and then there's another thing called just brief pause. 
Oh, oh wow. ooh. So is and that's ooh. what I need. And so brief pause is just like four minutes. Okay. You know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like I need a brief pause. Like I don't want to check my that. phone. You know what I mean? Just everyone needs a brief pause. I would love that. It, if you asked me what a brief pause was <laughs> in London, I would assume an underwear commercial. Right. Um. <laughs> right. But it, it feels like spiritual, profound, and necessary. Yeah. Um, Jake confirmed from from our uh, in comedy shows they do that a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's really? great. Yeah. That's okay, I just I yeah, need, just from the theater, I didn't, you know. I have never in my life needed a brief pause more than during any comedian who thinks 80 minutes is the amount of comedy to do. Oh. I've never seen... You, you see mean a, one comedian? One just, comedian. I think 80-minute comedy show is honestly about the length it should be anyways. But when someone's like, I have four openers and I'm doing an hour and a half, I'm like, I think I don't like any of this. Yeah, I, It makes me furious. So upset. So upsetting. Like, everyone's... Five minutes, and then you do at the most 35 minutes. I agree. Maybe 25 minutes. Because you know what? We get it. I have never, I don't think anyone has ever had that much to say <laughs> total in their entire career. <laughs> right? I don't think if you're on your fifth hour in six years, I don't think you have had anything to say. I think amongst things Louis uh, adjusted in the wrong way in comedy <laughs> was the new hour every year mantra yeah. that right. people seem to have adopted. Right. Where I'm like, I can't believe Seinfeld was right about something. Where he's like, I still do all my old jokes. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I think he likes jokes until they turn 18. Right. <laughs> 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 but I'm just if if you so I don't funny. think anyone has a new hour every year. No, no one has ever had a whole new thing. Where you're I'm not like, that interesting. Not no. What no, have you lived? No. What has right. life been? Yeah. Also, if you're in your early twenties, I don't necessarily want to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now sorry. we're getting back to me at that coffee shop, aren't we? <laughs> I, that's my own callback. You know, I'm just trying to suck the dick of the host um, and be like, let's do a callback. I but, don't know. Yeah, I, I there needs to be know, some life experience. Of some capacity. I need like a almost died. Yeah. Like some real. Mm -hmm. Isn't. Also, if you are super rich, mm -hmm. I feel like you have even less to say. Yeah. yeah. Like the more money you have, the less I believe. Uh, uh, like a, uh, it sounds like we're really only talking about Chappelle, but I'm talking about <laughs> a lot of people. Um, but when he came back and had like three hours and five minutes, oh my God. and I'm like, oh, there's a good 30 minutes in that three and a half hours that could have been special. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, the last one was just talking about how what a sensation he is. That's the, insane. No, no, literally, that's <laughs> he was just like, and this is what I did, and oh, then this wow. is, and we, all, I was like, is this for real? I don't know if it's fun to be famous and talk about hanging out with famous people. That look, if I wanted that, Seems every like every podcast ever, yeah, <laughs> is now hosted by someone recapping the show they were just on. Oh um, yeah, I would, I would just do that. I wonder if that's like fit into. Like maybe why Coyote versus Acme isn't going to come out is because Will Forte refused to do a recap podcast where he rewatches <laughs> Coyote versus Acme every week with a different cartoon. Oh um, my God. Or smart, or smartless, where all they do is just this like, just sucking the dick of each other. Like yeah. man, do you remember like Sam Rockwell? There's no one as good as you, man. And he's like, <laughs> guys, I'm. And you know his hand is over his heart. And he's like, <laughs> like, you know it is. And I just want to die. Like, I just want to uh, die. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, like, oh, you have man. a gay guy, so you're edgy. I believe pod <laughs> <laughs> podcasts used to be for the poor. Right. I think we need to engrave something about podcasts at the base of the Statue of Liberty. Um, bring, bring me your, uh, your meek, your miked. <laughs> and bring bring back the proletariat and, <laughs> right. and stop with the pharaohs and the bear. I don't I don't yet. know if you are a millionaire you shouldn't be able to sell me mentalhelp.com or whatever. <laughs> right. I uh, cuz I don't believe it. I think uh if you're the rich I don't need to hear Except Jason Conan, Bateman. Conan, right? that's fine. <laughs> Conan's fine. At least his is like I don't want to have a job anymore. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's so but I just He can do anything. Conan I, can do anything. You used to have to yeah. grind together your podcast. It was the way you hoped to make a little bit of scratch. Advertisers would be like, this isn't, and now, you know, it's like, a, did, did you see this person was on a reality show? Now they're going to talk a, a, at it. And like, okay, well, I'm bumped further down. <laughs> that's okay. I'm not bitter about it at all. And that's the good part. I'm looking no, into it's, all it's, three it's cameras a, at a, the same it's time. It's a charming vitriol. <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, We should talk about Nyad. So Nyad you have your script here. I don't want to get script. too much into the details of the actual movie. Is there anything you want to preface that you brought into the script? If hmm. not, that's okay. If there any caveats or anything, it's up to you. 
I just might, you know, coming, listen, guys, I did a whole, you know, stint at UCB. So if we want to <laughs> improvise a little, the end, okay. I just want to, I want to give my actors and I'm one of you mm -hmm. just a little leeway. Let, okay. Let's have a little fun. Okay. Um, I know you guys generally have a sense of what this is about. I do a little bit. I still think Daniel has absolutely no clue about what this is. A swimming woman, you know, that's about I mean, all I've got. it yeah. was pretty amazing what she did. Okay. Do you it was like incredible. We we'll talk about it. We'll talk okay. afterwards. We'll oh, okay. tell you okay. afterwards. Okay. All right. More fun. I, I would give Daniel right. whatever the bigger part or more important part is so he can bring everything that he knows about this to it. Oh. And he's a better actor than I am. So I would do that for that reason, too. All right. Um, I'm going to play Diana. Great. Naya, the woman, the, the, that random woman. The swimming woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you'll play Bonnie, her coach. Okay. Perfect. And then is that okay to read stage directions or someone read stage directions? Do we need that? or? Yeah. Whoever. Or, you can read the stage directions. Or I'll just if you read want. it. Okay. That's great. And then you just listen and hang out. I love that. <laughs> this is the best episode of the podcast of all time. You just shot me a look of like, don't fucking put me to work. No, really. no, 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 no. <laughs> He's already pulled out a book. I start watching Nyad on my computer. <laughs> and you start bringing out your swimming trophies right. from the Midwest. And you're like, look at this 100 meter crawl. We, I just learned to swim in the Midwest, hopefully to escape. Hmm. That was the thing. I was like, if I get in the Mississippi River and I'm really good at mm. this. I read, uh, anyways. Swimming is a good escape, I think. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Let me know when we want Whenever you're ready. Up. All right. Fade in. Interior. A rustic country kitchen with a nine foot tall spice rack, 20 pots of fusilli boiling, and a small frame picture of the quote, there is no try, only do, by Yoda. <laughs> in early Indigo Girls bootleg plays when they did an impromptu concert benefit at Sarah Lawrence in 1996. <laughs> Would you turn that shit off? Siri, turn off. We dropped Siri off to Goodwill, remember? It's Sonos. Just pause Sonos. Sonos isn't Siri. Diana grabs Bonnie's phone. Oh, what's your passcode again? My God. You're my coach, my best friend, my coach, my coach. <laughs> your ex-lover. <laughs> what's your passcode? It's 0849. Oh my God. My birthday? You're still in love with me, aren't you? No. Yes. No! <laughs> You're the first person I think about when I wake up at night. And the last person I think about when I drift off to sleep. But I would rather drown myself in battery acid on a COVID-infested Scientology cruise than be with you again. That makes sense. Anything? Wordy, but that makes sense. <laughs> Anything more to eat? I just made 50 more gallons of pesto fusilli. Remember, we have to leave the house at 3 a.m. tomorrow to make sunrise kick off at Havana. I know. I know. I know. I ran you a CBD lavender bath. Jesus Christ, Bonnie. I'm going to be swimming in fucking inky black treacherous waters for 110 hours tomorrow. You think I want to soak in more water now? I, I, I just thought it would relax. You thought wrong. You thought wrong. Stop. What if? If you get eaten by an aggressive white tip shark tomorrow and I watch you get your arms and limbs and face ripped off and it's blasted out on Al Jazeera for days. I was going to say, well, what if you forget my favorite snacks? <laughs> Bonnie starts rushing around the kitchen and throwing snacks onto the table. It's really hard to tell if this is loving, instructive, or enraged <laughs> behavior. I have Papa Riddell or Chetetetetetet and Al Dente Fusilli. Dora Chetty. We went to Italy two summers ago. Do you remember? <laughs> no, I don't because of my head wound. Pizza flavored goldfish, 22 semi wrapped bananas, and the last one. Mushy, Mushy the, the way, way I like it. it. <laughs> Why did we break up? Because you're a fucking nightmare. But you were going to swim 104... It's 110 miles. It's 110 miles. Look at the map behind you. I just checked the cross currents again. Fuck. Fuck. Please. Swim with the shark cage around your head. Don't do No, it. I'm not going to do it. I'm protected and I was divinely chosen by God. And it's why I don't do other people's podcasts. I'm never the guest. <laughs> I'm the host. I am the host. You got it? So fucking tell Joe Rogan no, and I'm the divinely selected host of the aquatic world. Yes, Diana Banana. <clears throat> and can I say the thing that everybody is afraid to say and wouldn't dare? You're still in love with me. Maybe. Say it. But, but say that's it. not it. Say it. No. Say the, it. The new Little Mermaid sucked. Okay? 
The only thing good about it was Melissa McCarthy, and she sucked too. <gasps> there. I said it. Oh, it feels good to get that off my chest. And I don't care. I'm a washed up, freckly dyke whose only job in life is to throw Fusili into the vomiting cake hole of my former ex-lover. What are you going to do on the boat during those long hours when I'm swimming my little tuckus off? <coughs> stare at you. Play Sudoku. Stare at you some more. Look behind you. Why? Look behind you. What, what do you see? No, what do we... what do we, what do you see? <laughs> Look behind you. What do you see? Look behind you. I did. Okay, <laughs> what I see is a woman made obstreperous <laughs> spice rack. I taught you that word. <laughs> it was pre head wound. All right, <laughs> that is gonna fucking kill us in the next earthquake. Read the quote. <gasps> What happened to the Yoda quote? I changed it out this morning. Just read it. Your bath is probably ice cold now. Good. Wim Hof is a friend. I'll tell him the night before I swam 110 miles from Havana to Key West, I took a cold plunge bath and soaked the fear out of my vagina. And that will be on my tombstone when I finally die at 192. The quote is from Hans Christian Andersen, and it says... Okay, hang on. When when did you change out the Yoda quote? In the movie of my life, there is always <clears throat> magic. The but Indigo Girl starts to magically play again in the background. But a mermaid has no tears, and therefore she suffers so much more. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to cry tomorrow. I may vomit the entire time into my face mask. I may get an uncomfortably loud chattering death rattle and venomous jellyfish stings in my armpits, but I'm never going to fucking guest on somebody else's podcast. Would you, would you die, die for, for me? me? Yes, I would. And I may still be in love with you. Mostly because Bumble is a shit show and my ex-girlfriend just slightly transitioned into a dude named Xanadu. Oh, God. Bonnie, you always go for these alpha women. Gotta do some Reiki or somatic release to get over your abusive borderline mother. Please. Wear the shark cage. If you stop cooking Fuzili, I'm sick of it. Just wear the shark cage. I won't be able to unsee your eyeballs getting sucked out by a cubid hammerhead shark. It's a hammerhead shark. <laughs> and, head and we took wound. a course on sharks. Someone took a hammer to my head and it hurt me. Are you making this about you? When I'm about to set a world record, it's raining now. You know that my... my my passcode is your birthday. It is? No. <laughs> but if I make it from Havana to Key West tomorrow, I'll change my passcode and I'll push our two CB2 Pottery Barn single beds into one giant king-size bed. Diana grabs her phone and puts on the song, Damn, I Wish I Were Your Lover. Then Diana lifts Bonnie high over her head like she's about to throw her and make the final Super Bowl touchdown against the Chiefs. I love you. Now put me down so you don't re-tear your sores. So as? My head wound. <laughs> a waterfall leak rains down the kitchen, and they're both weirdly overjoyed by this. Yes. 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 Madonna's rain magically plays, and they dance topless underneath the leak. By the way, next Monday I booked you as a guest on Joe Rogan's podcast. And I won't do it. Unless we emotionally scissor. <laughs> Fade Dude. out. Ooh. Wait, uh, I dropped my horn. <laughs> Yours aren't as exciting. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's the tag. It's a duck I needed call. the tag. This only calls ducks in clothes. <laughs> uh, wow. What an accent. Wow. My God. What a really, script. Yeah, thank, great choice uh, all around. Thank great you. script. Really fun. fun reading. Thank you for great really accent. bringing an A game. That <sighs> accent was perfect. I sweat. I began to sweat. Well. <laughs> I was perspiring. Um, from the just, just from the actually, sensual heat. I think from actually caring. Mm. It's only happened once or twice else in my life, <laughs> either in or outside of this podcast. I relate. I relate. Um, I'm dead inside. I relate. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I haven't seen it. It feels close. 
<laughs> I think you would like it. I think I, I would. I really hope you do see it because I think you actually I'll would watch like it. it. I, I'll watch it too now. Um, <laughs> I like you really ho- knowing I would like it despite you having not yeah. seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the swimmer, I just I know. I love, there's no other good swimming movies. Um, no. You know what we got to do real quick before we talk about Naya? We're going to take a quick break. Does anyone need water or anything? I'm good. What acting we, chops what do we, you Can have, we call it a, a brief? Appreciate it. Brief pause. A brief, a brief pause. pause. Brief pause. Oh, I love the way he says it. Yeah. <laughs> brief pause. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. I'm out of That's a job. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, we never mic'd up Nolan, but when Jake rolled in, <laughs> no, 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 the difference was Nolan would bring his own handheld mic to, and like, like, uh, sit, like sit back like, uh, well... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Brief pose. Um, I can't do it. I can't do any accents. I no, I, I can't either. One time, I really committingly did a Jamaican accent. <laughs> I don't remember what we were watching. I was watching something with my girlfriend, and we, I just did it. And she's like, someone said something, and then I did said it exactly how they just said it. And she's like, ooh, it's a shame that's the only one you can do. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, that was very accurate. And unfortunately, oh you're God. not allowed to try again. <laughs> don't you love a significant other being like, you got, I'm just shut you just down. Just don't yeah. do this ever again. Yeah. It was correct. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, just frequently like, you're lucky only I'm around. Yes. Right, right. Um, you're other people away from not being around anyone ever again. That's so funny. Um, uh, so there's, I guess there's not, I think about other swim movies. There was a movie called The Thirteenth Year that was a Disney Channel original movie that came out, I think, on my thirteenth birthday oh. about a guy who was part fish or something. And I remember <laughs> thinking, This fish. is pretty cool. You know how those Disney Channel movies are. It's like you're part a uh, animal. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've and seen Splash sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Splash I don't know. <gasps> Okay, now I, I really only, feel like a Jewish yeah. Jessica Tandy because that's like it, okay. I only know Kyle, Splash from you have photoshopping. To text your girlfriend after this podcast okay. and say, "Fire up the chicken parms tonight." Great, and we're watching Splash. Great, you have to watch. It is a cl- it, the comedy holds up. It's amazing. Okay, okay. Has anyone oh, seen Ron Splash Howard, here? I do know this. You guys have to see Splash. I haven't even heard. Okay, you. It's a young it's boy John Candy. It's one of John yeah. Candy's funnier movies. Okay, maybe I w- yeah I'll watch that. Yeah, no, I'll be furious. I love a good I'll be furious movie. at you if you don't. And it's actually about <laughs> swimming. I there's no like exciting swimming like competitive swimming things. Mm-hmm. It's not right. This super, isn't, no, yeah, this isn't yeah. like competitive, but there's definitely a lot of swimming. Yeah, yeah. I could get into yeah, that. I don't know um, any competitive swim fan swimming. was a movie about it was like a like a teen horror thriller in the vein of like. Uh, uh, What's the one where they 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 escape death? They don't get on a plane and it blows up. Final destination. Mm. It was sort of in that sort of like, but even more campy tone. And I remember seeing it when I swam and being like, "This is it's the worst movie." That's ever. <laughs> it's, it's like it's super bad. They didn't, but who wants to watch? <laughs> Most sports look ridiculous on right? camera, anyways. Except gymnastics. Gymnastics looks great. I mm. was a gymnast. You I, can take I that. I love gymnastics, even if it's like the shittiest like. Freebie piece of shit. Sure. Like, I will be in. Tubi's <laughs> original story, Mochianu. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah. 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 And it's like, yeah. Uh, now, gymnastics, there's a world where there's no bad people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we cycling back <laughs> to We're getting back to Cosby. Larry Nasser I mean, it, was basically <laughs> probing young yeah. girls in a room. Uh, but, Penn uh, State's probably own Larry Nasser. <laughs> just based on. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was horrible. But gymnastics, you can see it and you. Swimming, everyone, a lot of people can do. Can I just say, swim? Watching swimming is a little boring. It is boring. Like diving's doing terrific. I love watching mm. dive. I mean, you have a lot diving's of, just you gymnastics, have a lot of resilience. but you're not super worried about the landing. Mm. Sometimes you are. Yeah, I, but I think swimming, you're just. I could do that, and it's slow. It's boring. Running and is fast. Slow. Running's boring. Swimming is a little bit around the speed you walk. So it's, you know, I mean, the fastest <laughs> swimmer in the world, you're like, oh, I could just sort of walk much faster than that if right. I tried. Mm-hmm. And, in, you know, unless there's like a Michael Phelps. Right. Uh, he's so uh, annoying. He, so I mean, conceited. <laughs> yeah, he has like 29 <laughs> gold medals. Can you believe that guy has but an guess ego? What? Diana Nyad <laughs> is better than Michael Phelps. Probably at swimming distances. Yeah. But um, see, you guys didn't even know about Diana Nyad, but I, you knew about yeah. Michael Phelps. Like, that's the latent misogyny in our culture. Yeah. Did Diana Nyad ever smoke weed? 
did she ever rip a huge bong? Yeah. I don't think she did. Uh, and I think she could have used it. Yeah. So I, I read about <laughs> Diana Nyad, actually, because I, I know, like, once I read a little bit the clip about her swimming around Manhattan, I was like, oh, this is actually someone I know. Um, I knew about her swimming from Cuba to Florida, and that's, I think, is the crux of the movie. Yes. Uh, I remember... Her sixth attempt, by the way. It was like yes. Her, yeah. And I remember, because a couple other people had done it, but she was doing it in the most unsafe manner. And that was, like, the thing about, like, she was not in a cage. And you kind of... I think she was the only... Per- the first, per- maybe I'm wrong. Uh, two I- people had done it in cages with oh. breaks, and no one held oh. that against them. Okay. And I'm like, oh, you're just kind of swimming far. Yeah, why am safely. I contesting the researcher? Yes, um, that's correct. Yeah, and she then, but she was like, just straight up, I'm swimming. The only thing that she yeah. did was wear a suit so she couldn't get shocked by jellyfish, right. which is wow. fine. But I, she, there are people like, well, she was wearing a suit. Maybe we, and then, and people got so angry. If about you want to, like, like, dude, she had to wear a fucking the suit. level of like, like the the misogyny and the reporting of world records. I found just looking, but she had swam around. Manhattan and people were like did you and she's like yeah all these people saw and everything and they were like yeah I don't know and like so they yeah. wouldn't give her the world record for right. doing this because people were like God. that sounds hard <laughs> and everyone loves to be like did she you would, and, did and you also really? she was so she was 60 when she wow. I mean mm. 60 yeah there are a lot of these yeah. uh um it's not even just a distance swimmer. This is like the people who do like the hundred mile a day runs. This is like right. next level forever endurance is these are a lot of these people aren't 20s or 30s it's the weirdo who climbed up that mountain you know that movie where he literally scaled the mountain free solo, free solo. Yeah. yeah it's like i think it's that level where they're just operating on a different i would imagine like, to plane. still be doing it and have like the mindset that you could even do something like this you have to have that sort of different chip in your head That's what I'm of saying, like yeah. performance and, and they stuff. studied his yeah. brain the free yeah. solo guy and they're like yeah it's different <laughs> Yeah. It's different because it's like he would like, like jump to another like ice, you know, with no yeah. equipment, nothing at all, like, like a complete disregard for your own life. Yeah, you yes, have to be yes, biologically yes. different to not feel. Yeah. Yes, because most people, you see those like clear bridges, <laughs> you know what I mean, where they're a glass floor. Yeah. Most people walk on those and panic. Yeah, even yeah. though it's ten foot thick, or like the Sears Tower in Chicago, where there's the yeah. floor you can go out. Oh, because mo- your body is like, oh no, 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 no. I no, did no. that stuff drunk. I walked on like sure. a ledge of a building. I was drunk. Yeah, That's yeah. why I'm sober now. And <laughs> these people have care. like yeah. no inhibitions right. all of yes. the time. Which I yeah. could have, I guess, but not like these people. No, this yeah. is this is crazy. This swimming between the two, you have to have like someone monitoring you. People, because people swim the English Channel a lot. Yeah. Um, a lot. 50 <laughs> times you know what i mean but like Every it, day it is like it's like the example the it's the you could yeah. swim in english channel <laughs> i right could now. swim in it uh, maybe not across it I just because could. with an american passport there's limitations right. these days sure. um i have to get a canadian passport to be well received on both sides mm. the uh people but this is further crazier waters weirder <laughs> and more sharks mm. and the jellyfish thing, I, t- I got stung by a stingray. It's the worst thing ever. And jellyfish is supposed to feel like the same way. Right? Yeah. And it, the jellyfish suit, it, honestly, you should be in a submarine. She should have just been swimming. <laughs> she should have been swimming in a hot tub in a submarine right. that does right. the whole thing. This is so crazy to do. And also, so there, I don't even know how, because she can't touch the boat. So right. I, I actually mm-hmm. wanted to write this just because I had this image of her just like, catapulting like fuzili dried fuzili into her mouth like she can't you know like <laughs> to open, fuel yeah, her yeah. during the like, swim like she has to drink and eat so i'm like picturing that and then she literally was throat like vomiting yeah for like a long i mean it's a horrifying thing to imagine i hated swimming because i would just end up where i started tired yeah mm-hmm. this at least she was somewhere else it was unfortunately florida um, that's a really long distance to go to be in a worse place. That's really funny. That's <laughs> and, your takeaway. Um, like, that's why my biggest takeaway. Like, at least go to Les Seychelles or like I've Indonesia. Been, I know the elderly retire to Florida in weird ways. I thought this was a lot. Why go to, <laughs> why go to God's waiting room, as my parents call it? <laughs> totally, um, totally. But it is such a crazy... There's a lot of things that uh, this... This uh, there's a she's in the Guinness Book World Records for this because she did it unassisted. Uh, the, yeah. the person who's in the Guinness Book World Records for a long time was a man who did this 
before her who swam in a cage and grabbed the boat all the time. Right. So really, he swam 100 <laughs> I like how miles. You made him sound like a pussy. <laughs> he, he cheated. He cheated. I think if you stop at all, you're not swimming the 100. Not yeah. stop. She would have to stop and tread water, and people would throw her food and stuff. Like right. what you, you know what I mean? Right. And just sit there. Like the whole time. what? What is her break? It's like we. I watch Oppenheimer, and I yeah. need a break. <laughs> right. So we, to an hour into Oppenheimer, I'm like, the one, can we stand up? Who's got some Snickerdoodles? <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm and, tired from the big TV. <laughs> Um, someone throw me food. Right. Yeah. Someone throw me that mushy banana <laughs> so I can keep going. Mouth. And I, oh, man. I mean, I just, it's unimaginable. It is. And, it's unimaginable. And she did this thing no one else had ever done. And I almost remembered some of her name. <laughs> <laughs> I have a personal run in with her, by the way. If you really? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Was it a run in or a swim in? It was, I actually saw her swim. Okay. So this is the most bougie thing I'm going to say all day. <laughs> okay. So. She, I belong to a tennis club, hold your applause, <laughs> and she joined. So I, first of all, would see her just doing laps in the pool. And yeah. I, it'd be like watching, you know. Uh, anyway, I was going to do a callback and I realized it's inappropriate. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I back when I was doing Bitter Homes and whatever, we were trying to get guests on my snack vlog. So I reached out and I was like, would you ever come on <laughs> our snack vlog? Yeah. And her assistant, like was like, thank you so much. Yeah, Diana doesn't do other people's podcasts. That's why this <laughs> yes, is your podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so, oh, and I've worked so on funny. like shame behaviors. I'm not in self-hating, but I went yeah. into like oh a God. spasm of just oh, shame. So like, funny. <laughs> like, and I was like, because then I had that book, you know, always ask that question. The answer is always no if you don't ask. Yeah. But sometimes maybe I should have thought about that question. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I met her. Then she gave a talk, and I met her, and she was very sweet. I think she liked my husband better than me. Like, she loved Larry, and yeah. I, I think she just was like, who's this weirdo? You know? <laughs> fielding, what are you, some non-binary weirdo? You know, and I'm yeah. like, no, I'm just fielding. <laughs> just here. Just anyway, so yeah, you didn't so come she on did my it. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I, and, then, and then I was like, bitch, it wasn't a podcast. It was a snack vlog. <laughs> <laughs> what about vlogs? <laughs> right, right. I'm like, so I have to say I was pretty embarrassed and downtrodden mm. I get it, mm. but then I had to put that in. Yeah. Yeah. Up. How long can you, you can't be too downtrodden at your tennis club? <laughs> <laughs> if you are for two days in a row, don't they suspend your membership? Yeah. You do. Um, yeah. People uh, have gotten their membership suspended. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, watch it. I'll still go swim at the gym sometimes. And it's such a. It's so crazy. Like these elite athletes are crazy at sports. But she <laughs> she could just swim for eight hours in right. the pool over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's such a. It looks easy, and then you would do two laps and be like, oh, I think I'm done this year. I'm done for the year. Literally. I mean, swimming is survival. Mm -hmm. It is like watching Lindsey Vaughn just do like the bunny slope, and you're just like, what are, what's happening? They're like like slumming it. it. Right, right, (laughs) right, exactly. I mean, I, um, it it is, there's this thing where, uh, um, this NBA player named Brian Scalabrini, who's a redhead Irish guy who played in the NBA, and he was basically the last player on his team, a bench warmer, like the 11th guy, you know, would, would barely play a few minutes a game, two points a game, and guys would always talk shit to him because he's sort of a clunky-looking, pasty, white redhead. <laughs> he played for the Celtics, which felt like that was the only team legally he could play for. <laughs> and he would get made fun of. People would be like, this guy can't play. You know what I mean? He right. can't play. He can't play. He can't play. And then one time he went on a radio station and he was like, yeah, I hear everyone. And he's like, here's what you don't know uh, about elite. At-. He's like, I'm closer to being LeBron James than you are to being me. Yeah. And he's like, that's the difference. Wow. Yeah. And then all these people kept Love- talking shit. And they're like, bullshit. Two points a game. Two points. A- <laughs> so he goes, all right, here's what we're going to do. Find the four best amateur basketball players in the world and they'll play them all in one day. And they found like, you know, like and one mixtape tour guys yeah. or like co- former college players who didn't okay. make it in the pros, European guys who couldn't make it pro. Like they found like four, the four preeminent amateur. Yeah. I mean, yeah. these and he played them all and one guy scored one. And he won like tw- <laughs> he won like 12-0, 12-0, 12-0, 12-1. Wow. Yeah. And he's just like, I don't know how to get this across to you guys. <laughs> yeah. The difference between like you're good at this and you made money doing a sport. Right. Right. That's and amazing. He, that he taped did it all. He wow. just, I mean, it's be, beating them 12 nothing isn't even as embarrassing as it was. Right. Like, right. it's more, you watch the footage and it looks just, like I'm playing my, my nephew who's five. <laughs> He's just, and that's what it would be like if she is like, the level of swimming is so different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, than, than any of the other stuff. But it looks so slow. It looks so, 
Um, right. Laborious, boring. And, it does. And it's you're a, just like, but she's made differently. She is. And just the mental game of right. that person. And also, but then I, I, I don't know. There's a part of me that's like, are you a little fucked up? A hundred percent. A million right? percent. You know what I mean? Like to just like, what? Have you ever, well, the problem that happened through COVID and stuff was we started hearing what any elite athlete had to say about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, oh, I forgot. No one's told you no before. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't That's have so to do true. anything. That's so true. Um, That's hilarious. Uh, Kenny DeForest, rest in peace, Kenny, had this incredible, he played college basketball oh, and he had wow. an incredible bit about athletes where he was like, you ever notice when an athlete wins something? They, they say it humbled them. And you're like, we just never taught them what that word means. <laughs> He's like, elite athletes will be like, oh, I just won the gold medal. It's very humbling. He's like, do you mean the opposite of humbling? Because you're on TV having won. Right. Are you just awash with hubris and you right. think you're a fucking god? He's like, like that's how much the they know. Up. Yeah, He's they like, don't even know what humility is. It was is. very humbling to right. be told my whole life I was better than everyone and find out they were right. Right. <laughs> um, that's hilarious. I also looked, I looked up... So this was a world record. The Guinness Book of World Records changes what they allow to be world records all the time mm. for safety precautions. Mm. Um, this, my brag, is I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. It's not for anything. I, I played guitar with the most people at the same time once <laughs> at a base, amateur baseball field in Kansas. Wow. Um, we all played Smoke on the Water at the same time, like 4,000 uh, uh, rednecks. Wow. And wow. they put us all against World War. So I have that Guinness Book of World Records. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Is it listed as like worst sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> it's listed as a uh, gimmickist attempt to get in the Guinness Book of World Records possible by a radio station. It um, gave a small town collective tinnitus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we signed up to do it, because you just go and you play smoke on the water with everyone at the same time. They were like, we have one of the premier deep purple cover bands in Western Missouri. <laughs> And you're like, well, what is this competition? Oh my god! How many were there to pick from? That's intense. Um, but the Guinness Book World Records won't put in danger. They don't want people trying to break right. things. Right. And they've eliminated a lot of it, uh, um, mega endurance. So like, okay. one thing that's never been in there is stayed awake the longest. Yeah. Uh, even though I briefly worked for a photographer that claimed to be beating that world record and oh was in God. like it's this guy tyler shields you oh. remember the famous picture of kathy griffin holding up trump's yeah. head yeah he took that photo oh. um wow. okay. after how many months of not right sleeping. and then right. i remember working for i was i worked for him right after college for some blog wow. of his and he was just like i'm staying up for 44 days right now Whoa. and you're like it like makes you physically sick to even think about it because it's such a I mean, like I just got out of college. I know what that's kind of like. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, no, it's it's a one nighter. I would feel like I was going to die. Right. Oh, like, no. Even, now. And that's with no dose or five, whatever yeah. the fuck I was. It would just feel terrible. It's so bad. This is like, and then I remember he sent us his rejection letter from the Guinness Book World <laughs> Records. And he was like, don't let people hold you down. If it, and they were like, we're not, do, we don't recognize <laughs> this as a record because it's dangerous right. and detrimental. So then when right. this, this made me think of that, I started looking up oh, like records they don't do anymore. Yeah. Um, there was and a lot of like eating quickly they don't do anymore because yeah. people would just get sick. Everyone they, they used to have a whole thing about beer drinking competition mm. records and then people were getting poisoned right. trying to drink a gallon of beer in nine seconds oh or something. Oh. Um, and now mostly they're just uh, sports records. Right. <laughs> it's just a book of stuff. They're like, yeah. yeah, it's not ruin lives, but no. Um, it was record, just a long yeah. way for me to say I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. I mean, you know, you know, no one's broke the record since then because everyone has jobs. <laughs> <laughs> people have things to do most days. Right. It's hard to find a place where there's 4,000 people with guitars and it's not like a frat party. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to take a break and play a couple quick games, and then we're going to get out of here. Uh, how are we looking, Jack? Uh, 38 minutes. 38? Perfect. Brief pause. Brief. Just want to. Can we have on. it one more time? Uh, brief pause. Oh, oh, it's so, so silky. Wow. It's wow. so good. That's, uh, um, it should be a ringtone. <laughs> That's what they call cars. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Are you going to see Nyad? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I love your honesty. Char is in I mean, like the. We used to play a game called. Guess if Shar has even heard of this, <laughs> and it would be like Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> that's I don't awesome. know what is the last movie that you watched. I was just gonna ask him that. Yeah. Jinx. Um, I mean, w most recently rewatched Airplane. 
What's the last movie you saw for the first but time? But the first... Mm, could not tell you off the top of my head. I'd have to really think about it. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow. And in theaters, probably the Beyonce movie. <laughs> What's that? Like a, it was a concert Beyonce movie? Beyonce is like Renaissance. Mm. Oh, I don't okay. know if that even counts. I thought you were Are talking you about Gold that? Member. Does it count? <laughs> You're talking about Austin Powers Are and Are you going to see the J-Lo documentary to follow I've that? heard that I should. I've heard it's really good. I've been told that yeah, I should watch I've, it. I mean, I watched some clips and I'm kind of aggravated but intrigued. A J-Lo documentary? Yeah. She, she like produced it and self-funded. Okay. And it's like... I'm here for that. If you want to circumvent that? all uh, of Hollywood and put out a movie, that's great, honestly. Yeah. I'll take if you can if I can take that away. You know what I mean, like right, the Taylor right. Swift concert movie. I saw that doing really well yeah. and having nothing to do with any of the people who would right. just try and make money off a thing they did nothing for. Right. That's cool. Right. Yeah. So you saw the Beyonce concert. I think honestly, I think I saw it like five times. I lost count. It was like four or Whoa. five times. Okay. My girlfriend's a huge fan, and then I became a huge fan as well. Yeah, um, Beyonce is great. It's incredible, and it's a the tour was amazing. Knowles. And, yeah. Okay. Just making sure we're talking. I want to see Beyonce. that now. I recommend. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, those are great. What's okay? What's the last scripted movie you saw in a movie theater? Was it last year? I don't. I don't remember. I truly don't remember. It was an Avatar. Yeah, it definitely was an Avatar. Um. Is when you're. When do you follow like a move? This movie is coming out, and you're aware of it. I mean, I'm not even talking about like Nyad specifically. <laughs> I would call I would call something like Nyad like an acting Nyad. movie. I love how you pronounce like with uh, just a Niage. touch of der- derision in your voice, <laughs> like Nyad. Nyad. Um, not a great title. Nyad, no, it sounds like a town in upstate New York. Um, they could have done better. Mm. <laughs> they were really banking on name recognition, and like mm. clearly, and I didn't even recognize yeah, you didn't these. Even know, no, right? I didn't even recognize these letters in the order they were in, <laughs> like as a word, <laughs> let alone like a specific name. Yeah. Um, I'm just blown away. What is, wow? Uh, like so, I've still TV? been trying to think. What about TV? Yeah, TV. Do you watch? Do you TV? watch any new television? New television uh, or, or I mean, television for the first time? I mean, I'm watching like the new season of Curb, but okay. As far right. as like a new, so show, you did it to him. Yeah, <laughs> you're why he died. R.I.P. <laughs> um, How do you enjoy yourself? <laughs> you know, you watch some TV. That's something I'm still working on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. trying to figure that out. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Interesting. Hmm. Feeling, do you go to movie theaters? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, do you consume anything? Do you watch anything I at all? I do. I think probably 75% of it is with for my kids. Yeah. So I saw Mean Girls, the musical. Was it good? Didn't need to be made. I don't sure. know why we think making oh, the movie something based a on musical. The musical based like, on the, the color movie. purple is now a musical. Like, no, no, no. You didn't need to add songs. Right. Like, even in the elevator, at, like, when we're going, the other women were like, yeah, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> I wish they would... Uh, uh, you, they're like the color purple and they just show the original one. Right. They don't even tell you it's a re-release. I took myself. So I did um, I did my show in Leicester and like I didn't have a lot of friends in Leicester, England. And so I was just walking around being like, I know I'm not going to go sleep. My jet lag. So the only movie that was playing was the color purple. Mm-hmm. So just go from my solo show about my divorce into the right. color purple <laughs> was like the bleakest night. <laughs> I literally was like, should I just drink and call it a day? Right. <laughs> I remembered. I saw. <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time. I saw Bottoms. Oh, I saw Bottoms. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I don't the know. Comedy that. that came out last year. Oh, was it good? Should I check it out? Yes, it was pretty funny. Oh, I enjoyed okay, it. okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a. I I used to. I, I got the AMC thing and go see some movies sometimes. Um, it's good to go out. To I want to go to. The, I love movie yeah. popcorn. I do it's too. Just important. I want to yeah. go see Dune too because it looks huge. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. I'm like that movie looks huge. He's so annoying. Which one? The fucking Timothy. Yes, I can. I fucker. I just He's watched just a Dune. little bitch. Is first off, I just not can't British, with him. Right? He's American, <laughs> isn't he American? I asked Jake. You know everyone who's not British. Um, does he pretend? He pretends he's British. No, but he gives off that he vibe. Does, he, he, does, he does. He does. He does. He just. I hate him. Um, I'll say. I, I think he's part French. Part Ew, of European. Of course. Chalamet is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying. I'm saying Timmy can... Chim- Chalamet this entire time. <laughs> I like, he is one of the first actors that came along that became a massive, massive superstar that I was like, the stuff's not for me now. Right, Do you know what I mean? Right, where you realize right, you've like yeah. aged up to yes. where they're not, they don't care if I care about him right, right. anymore. Right. Um, I saw Wonka. Okay. The prequel we all needed. But I think just like you're saying, just see the original. Just yeah. see the, with Gene he, Wilder, like you can't, he what are really you doing? Gene Wilder. tried so hard. 
and it just he's not the right kind of charisma for Wonka. Like Gene Wilder, what he brought to that was so like effortless yes. and dark. And Timothy Chalamet, he it made me like him more. I don't think he was oh, really? that great at Wonka, but he no, cared he so much. Right. And you're just like, oh, but it just wasn't the right casting. Like you're supposed Which to be in Dune. In Dune, he says like six lines the whole time, and they could all be the quote on the front of the book. Right. Every I just watched Dune two nights ago to watch the second one. Every line in Dune, and it was good, and it's huge. And he's always just like, the night mother is dwindling, or like <laughs> stuff. I'm, stuff that's like so insane because right. it's like a sci-fi movie. Look out for that worm. <laughs> Not even everything, and it's so big. Every single one of them looks like they want to be a still frame quote. And I'm like, he's pretty good when he's just supposed to be. Uh, looking like shapes, right? Just laconic, quiet <laughs> and, like, guy has like gravitas about carry him being there. But. Yeah. I like him fucking a peach. What was that in? Call me by your name. Oh, okay. I thought he was oh. James the Giant Peach. I know, me too. I <laughs> did a whole roll doll. I was like, did I miss something in uh, children's literature canon where he jammed his dick into a peach? But I could see him being in that because he's he's bony. That was the first time I ever saw him, and really, honestly. I saw Dune as well. Those are the only you two. You saw Dune? Yeah. That's blowing my mind. I hated it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I think I'd hate it too. Yeah. Marlena Rodriguez dragged me a couple years ago and then apologized profusely. It was and loud. Was like, we should have left. Yeah. Um, we were in the very front row. It was bad. Oh, but maybe I could see him. Uh, you just, this is the first time I've been like, oh, there's new, like Leonardo DiCaprio's or these like like huge heartthrobs that aren't in the age group I'm in, and right. he's like the first one that I really r- realized that with. Right, like Tom Holland a little bit, but he's sort of Spider Man, so that seems to be whatever. But I'm just like, oh, this is just I don't I don't get it, and it's, they don't care that I don't get it because they're I'm not who is right, trying right. to get Timmy Chan. They're not doing it for you, <laughs> Chalamet. Timmy Chalamet. Timmy Chalamet. Yeah. Um, part French. Okay. Yeah, I maybe on his college not a fan of the like willowy <laughs> feminine dude. Who, he like, is very I wavy just, I, hair. It's so not like no thank you on uh, every level. Um, in Dune, oh, what is the guy who's Aquaman? Like I'm not saying I need Stellan Skarsgård. Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa oh. is in Dune, and this guy, and he shaves his beard. He does. He's like clean shaven in Dune, mm. and I remember thinking, I'm like. Oh shit! That beard was doing a lot of lifting. Yeah, mm. like I can't, I can't in my right mind sit here and be like Jason Momoa is not a very attractive <laughs> guy. You know what I mean? He's like, right. a, a, looks like a professional wrestler, but when he shaved, you're just like, oh, it's even because I've only seen him with like a little bit of facial hair mm-hmm. or like a big beard or like a very tailored like male makeup beard right. is what I call it. Where right. I'm like, you're reframing your entire face with this, and he shaved, and I was like, look at that normal looking guy. Mm-hmm. Which but, isn't accurate at all, but but it, yeah, it's like when Horatio Sands lost all the weight. You're like, we kind of miss it. It is odd. It's mm-hmm. just a, you you get used to, it, and then they act differently. I'm not saying people shouldn't look the best they can look, but yeah. you're like, mm. it is always a little bit of it's an a, interesting thing. You know, it took us years with Seth Rogen. Mm. <laughs> As society, he lost all that weight, yeah. and we're like, we need you to do pottery, and then we'll get around ah! to this shape working all right. But <laughs> you, you got a ceramic body we now instead of the pot. My head name body. is Mud, and your little fucking artisanal. <laughs> oh weed. man, yeah. I wanted to buy one of those for one of my friends, and then I looked at the price. Wow, really? but I mean, what can I tell? Of course, it's Seth Rogen making. Right, you know what I mean? Right, like yeah, it's right, a, yeah. I mean, it was like five hundred dollars for yeah. like an ashtray, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I bet I, you know. I can't tell an artist to not charge whatever they can get for anything. No one. But he know. should have a sliding scale. I, feel I like. asked Seth he Rogen should. like he's my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, are you busy? Guy who seems like the busiest person <laughs> in the whole world. Uh, can you make a sliding scale yeah. ashtray for my friend Andy? <laughs> yeah. He should be open to that. He should fucking be open to that. Okay? I want to, before we play this game, really quickly, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life is Seth Rogen told this story about being invited to an Adele concert, like just at the end of COVID. And it's like him and his wife or his girlfriend went to this Adele concert and they were like, it was at the Griffith Observatory. And he's like, it's gonna be so fun. Let's get super baked. Let's go see Adele, like the greatest singer in the world. We'll go up here and we'll just sort of live. And they like got really, 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 really high. He, Cause he, in his head, he's like, if I'm getting invited, this is like not exclusive. Right. Uh, amongst <laughs> famous people going to Adele. He, he shows up and it's like 30 chairs are there for like a private concert and he's in the front row of an oh Adele God. concert oh and he's God. so baked out of his mind and he realizes they're filming it for like Netflix or HBO oh or God. something and he's just like, I don't know what happened. And the whole Adele That's concert, hilarious. you can see Seth Rogen 
so high. He like claps at the wrong times <laughs> a few times. And it's just sort of like, and Drake is like behind him. And oh he's like, the God. whole time Drake has to be like, what the fuck <laughs> is this guy in front of me? Like, it's, it's, that's so funny. It's beautiful. I got to see that. Um, all right. We're going to play a game here. This game, real quick, is called Before and Afters. Get ready to play Before and Afters. Um, how this works. Two movies have been smushed together into one movie. I will read you the smushed together plot. You have to tell me the smushed together title. Uh, for instance, over here we have Moulin Bruges. Mm. Should be Moulin Rouge and In Bruges put together. Mm. Uh, some other examples, The Wolf of Wally Street, uh, Saving Private Silverman. I can't think of any with Nyad. <laughs> <laughs> Now I really, it's the worst title ever it's, it's in the history of cinema. It's an interesting to say. I, you, you can tell sometimes the seriousness with which a movie, will, like if, if you gave me a title of a movie, I could tell you what Oscars it would be nominated for. Right. Lots of, if you said to me, yeah. Banshees of Inna Sharon, I'd say Best Screenplay. Mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. And She's, then, I'm not betting's going to win. I'm just going to say yeah. it again the third time. That best act, best supporting actress. or, no, or best, best actress. actress? Okay. So you heard um, it from me. Isn't she, but Killers of the Flower Moon, the the, the woman who's the star, she that says seems to be good. That might be support. That's such a funny thing to see where they they put these to think they have the best winning chance and right. things like that. You're just like, uh, wow, they're still cattle. Ugh. Annette Benning is cattle fodder for an award that you're like, right. are you kidding me? Like, how do we manipulate Annette's life's work into a trophy for this old guy? Right, mm-hmm. right. Um, exactly. Any with Nyad. Can't think of any. Tom Nyad Jerry? No, that's nothing. <laughs> this isn't it's it's such a weird sound. Bill Nyad the science guy ad. <laughs> that's the closest I'm getting. Uh anyways, cool, feel free to cool, work together. Cool Nyads. <laughs> okay, okay. Um I have like fielding doesn't get the game. <laughs> no, you're there. <laughs> um okay, I'll read the plot. We have three movies and then we have two special ones today as well. Ooh. So here's the plot, and you tell me the title. Feel free to work together. Uh, if you've been talking with Daniel, you'll know the We're limited amount of resources. help he yeah. can like, bring to this. I like working together. Okay. Um, a professor develops a lively green bouncy substance that he uses to help a former cinema superhero actor who is mounting a comeback on Broadway. Okay, Flubber is the first one. Or it's part of it, anyway. Um, a professor... Dude develops a lively green bouncy substance that he uses to help a former cinema superhero actor who is mounting a comeback on Broadway. You're saying Flubber? Flubber is the scientist part. I don't know what the Broadway comeback But then is. I'm thinking of the, f- the green kind of scientific flu, like it's giving me a Ghostbustery feel. Oh, okay. Like ghost, uh, <laughs> okay. ghost Flubbers. <laughs> the slime from... Yeah. Okay. But... I see what you mean. You think of the theater-y one. So the who's theater. a former cinema superhero actor who is mounting, this is the plot, who's mounting a comeback on Broadway. Mounting a comeback on Broadway. I have no clue what that is. Sometimes when you just put like an exclamation point, mm. <laughs> it feels like a Broadway thing. There's like, producers. Oh, right. There's the Entourage movie. There's... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any of these. I'm just <laughs> on things that could be it. You know? Mm-hmm. The produce producers. I like flubbers. the produce, produce. The produce flubbers. <laughs> we are looking for Flubbird Man. Oh, oh. I saw Birdman. Flubber. I even oh. saw Birdman. Me too. It's one you don't think about a lot, even no. though I think it won Best Picture. Yeah. Nobody. Michael Costa has a great joke. How like nobody between New York and LA has seen Birdman. Right. Seventeen <laughs> like percent of America has seen Birdman, and it always got me because you're like, of course, nobody's fucking seen Birdman. No, no. Yeah. I think it also is one of those Best Picture winners that other ones might be remembered more from that year, like Whiplash. Yeah. I think is a movie people will, is kind of going to be, especially who's. A, I love name? making jokes about Whiplash. Yeah. I just like calling an aggressive person like, "What are you, Whiplash?" <laughs> <laughs> It's like yeah, my favorite even which thing to person do. in Whiplash? Um, Whiplash versus the Evil Dead. There's one. Mm. There's one. Nice. I wish I'd use that in this. No, you're doing great. <laughs> Number two, a man who somehow found his way into many of the 20th century's most influential moments is sitting on a park bench 
and then ties a bunch of balloons to it to travel to South America. It's Forrest Gump and right. then yeah. South America. So and ties we, a bunch of balloons to it to travel to South America. I love these microphones or you can like really I like mean I feel like an ex Nazi would go to South America. <laughs> I might have been some of the subtext in this movie that I didn't pick Am up I on. Am doing too much of a deep dive? <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm you like, find out what the movie is, you'll think, yes, he probably did. A Mengele scurried into, um, like, Colombia to hide. Ties I mean, a bunch of balloons to it to travel to South America. I don't know any balloon movies. I mean, it, Curious it, George had balloons. Is up... Is oh, is Forrest Gup. Forrest Gup I is like correct. That. It is Forrest Gup. <laughs> so good. That's actually why the old man went to South America, not because his wife died <laughs> and he wanted to live out, but it's because he's a Nazi going into hiding. <laughs> and he has this talking dog technology. <laughs> oh, That boy. was really good. All right. This one's really fun to say, and I give you 5% chance of getting it. Cool. Great. A soldier and his team are hunted by a brutal creature with superhuman strength, the ability to disappear in, and the ability to disappear into its surroundings, even appearing to be dude, I didn't write this very good. Here we go. <clears throat> a soldier and his team are hunted by a brutal creature with super strength, the ability to disappear into its surroundings, even appearing to be a renowned celebrity conductor tied up in a scandal over accusations of harassment and abuse. Okay, that part, that's tar. So, tarred revenant? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have to censor that saying <laughs> that out. <laughs> I mean, I A soldier that. and his team are hunted by a brutal creature with superhuman strength and the ability to disappear into its surroundings. And then the second half, which you figured out. What's that war movie? <laughs> like, you're thinking of Nyad. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I can't stop thinking about Diana and Nyad and how she didn't want to come on my snack vlog. I don't know any superhero movies. Wait. This is I a soldier and his team hunted by a brutal creature with superhuman strength, the ability to disappear in its surroundings. This is a creature, I would say, not a super. Like Fro Frozone <laughs> was, I want the the Expendables was that? You're close. The Expendables. I think the guy who right? starred in this is in one of these. Some of the Expendables. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So you're in the right world. Circling. Of, okay. The, okay. Not an awesome guess, but we're getting something. Mm -hmm. Jake, do you have a guess? Yeah, but I know it. Oh, you do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said it, didn't I? Or do you know no, it? No, no, I just, I just, okay. I've got, I got it. Do we let him take this? All right, Jake, what is it? Predator. It is Predator. Oh, nice. Predator. That's an old school movie. It's hard to come up right? with the... Yeah. Predator? Yeah. I yeah, think with, I saw with that. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, in the, yeah. the movie theater where um, you can still smoke in the theater. <laughs> it had to be cigars for that movie. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to come up with plots for those movies where there's 800 of them. Mm -hmm. um, all right. We're going to try one television one now where it's half TV, half movie. So it's a TV show and a movie put together. Okay. The only level-headed child of a real estate mogul takes over his family's business when his dad is jailed, and he must run the family business while with a talking stuffed bear. Is Ted, it Ted is the movie, and then the look who's talking Ted. <laughs> look who's talking to Ted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Mark Wahlberg again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three men and a baby. Oh no, wait! I was thinking Boss. The other half baby. is a is a television show. Ted is oh. going to be your movie. Although I guess Ted is now a television show too. So I know everything. There's. Good. There's so much, you know, real fluidity. The only level-headed child of a real estate mogul takes over his family's business when his dad is Oh. Shot. Succession. Succession. <laughs> this has been compared to Succession before. Uh, but it takes it's over the family business. And it's a real estate business. TV show. Mm -hmm. Prop. Succession. Is that Ted the new Brothers. Rob Lowe series? What are you going to say? Sorry. The proper Ted Brothers. <laughs> no. Um, it's a comedy. I feel like it's making me think the of star. the new Rob Lowe series, which I haven't seen. But I don't know. about the star. Um, they build estate? houses. It takes place in Orange County. The Real Housewives of <laughs> <laughs> The Real Housewives of Salt Lake Teddy. <laughs> 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 
I'm also just picturing Home Improvement set um, in. Oh wait, I feel like Jenny Garth had a real estate. This is a, we are looking for Arrest Ted development. Oh, oh God. that's such a of good course. one. Arrest I Ted feel like such a dum dum. That's too. such a good one. Well, it is a. Uh, it's funny because Succession. I think people oftentimes, or I would see things where people are like, I liked Succession more when this was it, and just yeah. show like the Arrested Development right. cast and right. Like, it is kind of in the same world here. Yeah. Ish. That's a really good one. I don't really know what happened at the end of Arrested Development, though. Yeah, I don't either. Got weird. They recut seasons of it, came back out. I remember watching the newest season of it, and they'd green. They like didn't shoot it together, so mm. some people were green screened into full on oh, really? live scenes, and it felt very odd. That's yeah. Strange. Anyway, it always had that disjointed um, feel. Um, that was fun. We did it. Nice. Hold on. Um, well, hey, that is it for us. Arrest Ted Development. I felt good about that. Mm-hmm. I, f- I framed the entire th- game around the, that, that. I think that, it's that brilliant. Out together. It's brilliant. Um, thank you so much for being here, Fielding. Thank you for having never seen Nyad. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for having me. It was so much fun. Please let everyone know where to find you and anything you have going on and um, all that stuff. Uh, you can find me at, at Fielding Edlow and my one woman show, Gaslighting is My Love Language, will be in the Hollywood mm-hmm. Fringe in June. So come check it out at the Hudson Theater. Awesome. Thank you so much. I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Beautiful. I've never seen it.